And um, yeah, fuck it, run the intro. We don't have to put all the, the, the title slide. Well, give once it's up, or title slide for a second, yeah. Yeah, go back, run the intro. Working to see on this while they shoot the book. Uh, Expert Choice Live, what the hell happened after show? Yes, no, ah. Yeah, run the fucking intro. Shit. What's up, everybody? It's me, Craig X, and I'm here after the show. Um, as you see, by my table full of stuff here, and my frazzled hair, uh, and if the camera, if, we, if we've got the wide cam on here, you can see the new studio as well too. I want. Uh, I think that's on the center, the middle cam. This should be the wide shot of everything. I think. You can see the new set somewhere. It's supposed to be this middle cam. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, we're at Studio 710. Just going to give the YouTube guys a tour and give you guys all up to speed what happened. So, hey, okay. So, yeah, there's pretty much the shot there. Um, anyway, uh, what happened was, is at 420, we pressed the buttons to start the show. And for whatever reason, the signal said it was going out, but it didn't actually go out to YouTube. All of a sudden, it was going out to YouTube. And we couldn't get it out to YouTube. So the show went on on Facebook, just continued along on there. And then once we finished the show, went back to try and sign in and out and back and forth and fuck around a little bit. And lo and behold, we're now able to get on YouTube. About two hours late, after everyone else is gone, they all left. There's nobody here. You see the set. It was all nice and clean looking before. I had my black shirt on and everything. I had no weed on the table and stuff like that. I interviewed uh, Steve and Adler from Lone Tree Concentrates. Shouts to the guys at Lone Tree for coming through and hooking me up. And. Uh, Um, we saw the new, we, yeah, we saw the new intro. Hope you guys like that. And, um, oh yeah, then uh, Remo came through. And uh, Remo hung out for a minute, dropped off some lighter leashes and some stickers. We played his uh, music video. That was a lot of fun. Oh, and then after that, uh, Marijuana Man Steve, not Greg Williams, but Marijuana Man, you know, the internet YouTube famous guy, been smoking weed on the internet since 98. Uh, he was on. And so we smoked a bunch of weed with him. That was a good time as well, too. Um, definitely hung out with those cats for a minute, smoking tons and tons of the marijuanas. We, uh, we ran a couple. We had then uh, had uh, Tim McBride on the show. He Skyped in as well, too. Had a few new segments, including Dab Time and Show Love. Uh, we also did the news and updates. It was, uh, it, it was a good show. Um, if you want to see it, you can see it on Facebook. You just go over there, find the video, click it, play it. If, uh, if, you, have, um, if you have time, we're going to get the video of this uploaded back onto uh, Pot TV's YouTube page, and we'll have that uplink uh, updated in the Pot TV feed as well as the Expert Joints feed. 
but realistically that's sometime tonight or tomorrow, something like that. So uh, I will try and get that up as quick as we can. Apologize for that. Um, I did have a show and it did broadcast. It only broadcast on Facebook. There is proof that it existed and I will upload the broadcast of it uh, onto Pot TV's YouTube page afterwards. So, oh, I know, I've been waiting for three hours. That I was telling everybody in the chat room every chance I got to say that it wasn't working, it wasn't working, please go to Facebook, please go to Facebook, please go to Facebook. If you sat in the YouTube chat room waiting for me to come on and you didn't either get the message and you stayed there waiting for me, we worked our asses off to make this happen. And shouts to Andrew, shouts to Cannabis Life Network, fucking Jade Maple, everybody came together and made this fucking work. And son of a bitch, this motherfucker, it's kind of like the episode that never happened. But it happened because all this shit is left over here and I'm stone to the bone. Come on, man. I got the new setting. I got the new set and everything. That's not quite centered. I'm going to adjust that because fuck it, I can. It's my own show. I can do the fuck I want at this point. I think it just needs to come back a little bit. I think, I think they moved this a little bit along the way. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set to that. See? Like, right? It's dope. So that's the whole full set. Looks pretty killer. Looks pretty killer. <clears throat> I kind of like it anyway. Um, right, we got the multiple camera angles here. We got the me cam over here, which is kind of cool. Sitting there with them like, hey, it's me. And like, I got a plant on my desk and everything. Now this camera, before, actually, I'll show you what it kind of had looked like. It was over here like on the guests, right? Because, you know, boom, it's like a, we kind of got like a late night talk show thing going on here now. So it worked out pretty good. I thought, oh, just ash. Okay, cool. For a minute there, I thought somebody burned the couch on the first day. Anyway, so then we had guests up in here. Parker was here. Parker, come say hi. Come jump up, buddy. Park Parks! The real star of the show. My man. Hey, best guy. Did you like the show today, buddy? Hmm? Nothing to talk about. Yeah. Um, anyway. So it was a really good show. We smoked out of multiple sublimators. I got dab mats and goodies. We got an update from Tim McBride because he, um, he's been in Florida and he got all fucked up by Irma and all that sort of shit. And um, much better now. Well, not much better, but he's trying to get it together. There you go. <laughs> On the Parker cam. I love it. Um, he's got a GoFundMe page that you can help him out at. <laughs> there go the ratings through the roof. I love it. Parker cam. Um, there's a GoFundMe page, Everglades City Relief Funding, fund, GoFundMe page, yes, the Everglades City Irma Relief Fund. Please go help them out. And shouts to all the people who were in that, who, uh, who watch the show regularly, who've already donated. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so he'll be back in a couple of weeks, uh, and his leg is all right. Um, let me see. I didn't turn it off. Nope, muted. Okay, good. What else happened? I got a new bud cam. That was cool. We put some shit under there. It works well. I like my new set. Table's nice. Um, it was really cool having marijuana man here. He, he, you know, a lot of people like him. Uh, we, we, of course, have new sponsors for the show this year as well, too. We have new sponsors for the show here as well, too. There are a bunch of new graphics, like, uh, like these ones that say, like, brought to you by, because the show has like, been brought to you by uh, uh, Lo Lone Tree Concentrates. Uh, helped us make, it's helping us make season three happen. So we made like a bunch of new graphics and stuff that, that bespoke that kind of shit. So shout out to Lone Tree. And um, Andrew's working on camera angles and shit back there. Because what happened was is they started tearing everything down and then we got it back on. And I'm like, fuck it, turn the cameras back on. So um, yeah, anyway, Andrew, do you want to show them some of the fancy new graphics? Are any of those accessible? Or you hate them now too much to ever want to see them again? What, yeah, what about the brought to you by ones? Yeah, so some of the brought, yeah, of course, because um, the show, we're getting some help from season three, 
uh, from the guys at like Lone Tree Concentrates, as I said, and Grassroots Medicinal, and Thompson Caribou. They're helping us make it happen. We ran some commercials too. We ran Remo's video. Yeah, see, there we go. Lone Tree, no, that's this week. Almost. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We're going to have to clean this situation up a little bit. I think I have a way around it, Andrew. So Lone Tree, yes, they're helping us with season three, as well as Grassroots Medicinal. Uh, right? So that's Lone Tree Concentrates.ca, Grassroots Medicinal.ca, and then Thompson Carey Root Concentrates.com as well, too. Shouts to the Squid Odd for making, helping us make it all <laughs> happen. Oh, I sneezed. Oh, man. Anyway, whew. Um, <coughs> yeah, and then we had some commercials, and we had some, some new segment breaks. Uh, we had new time. Oh, dab time. Dab time's a new segment. That was a good one. I wonder if they left anything here worth dabbing. I thought there was more. I wonder if we brought it back over here, or if they just took it with them. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Maybe Steve took it. Um, Whatever. Um, Andrew, yeah. do you want to run a video? Yeah. Dab time? Fuck it. I deserve a dab. I think it's dab time. Just so you guys get a taste of some of the shit we did. It sounds a lot like it. Then Andrew going to run it. Fuck it. It's dab time for sure. New segment. You missed it. Right, so that's the new segment called Dag time, Dab Time. And uh, we were dabbing out a bunch of stuff. And I've already got a little something on this cool black octopus dab rig, or dab tool, carb cap dealie, right? It's a little bit of the, uh, it's a little bit of the old school rock from Grassroots Medicinal. So this Dab Time is brought to you by Lone Tree Concentrates. It's an OG and a rock star, so they call it the old school rock. So yeah, so like I say, we had, uh, you see the, well that's not quite right. <laughs> we had a few technical glitches, yeah we did. <laughs> we got some fancy new graphics, right? <coughs> we got new segment breaks, um, we, got a, we got a few new segment breaks. We even also had a commercial or two, like uh, this one from Cannabis Growers of Canada that we did was pretty cool. British Columbia, home to the most <coughs> beautiful landscapes in the world. Home to mom and pop vineyards, hot springs, farmers markets, some of the world's best skiing, snowboarding, surfing, and mountain biking. We protect our rainforests and keep our air clean. BC, we strike the right balance between nature and nurture. But did you know that for the last 30 years, BC has also been home to the finest cannabis in the world? BC Bud is world renowned for its taste, aroma, and potency. We've competed and won cups, gained recognition from international celebrities. We are the Cannabis Growers of Canada. We create wealth, opportunity, and good paying private sector jobs. The BC cannabis crop is worth over $7 billion a year, and there were over 17,000 farms creating work for Canadians and improving the lives of millions of people. We are joining together to build a free and fair cannabis market that benefits all Canadians. Won't you come and join us at cannagrowers.ca? Anyway, whew, so that was a dab. Uh, so we have a couple little commercials like that as well too. What else do we have looking through the stuff that was neat? Uh, we did the news breaks. We talked a lot about the news. That has a new intro um, and a new graphic as well. Two, what else is there? Oh, we got a new bud camp. Bob, we show a new bud camp. Um, what am I smoking? I think this was the God Bud. 
Let's go ahead and put this God Bud back in the Bud Cam here. Uh, there's, no, there's no fancy song for the Bud Cam one, but there is a graphic and the marijuana's. Let me see. Bud Cam. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, I said too close. There we go. In the bug can. In the bug can. Right? So that is the God Bud brought to you by Lone Tree Concentrates. Hey, sure now you get it. Fucking 18th time's the charm. Yes, so this is the some practice. Right, some practice now. Man, Andrew was like, I have never, never done, had to do more graphics. You, you thought I used to have to, end, see? Look how much shit I used to have to do. It's crazy, right? Crazy, right? So anyway, um, yeah, shouts to Andrew for all of his help making this happen. Appreciate that. Oh, what camera is this? Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's nice, nice camera work there, Todrick. Very nicely done. All right, so, um, yeah, I'm, I, I can't lie. As happy as I am that we got the cool new set and the cool new studio, anybody who knows me knows that I like things done right. And we worked our butts off to make this happen. I am super disappointed that we didn't get the actual show on YouTube, guys. I'm sorry. And if um, all of my guests weren't already gone, I might have done a little impromptu after show thingy. But all I can do is assume that now that we've got this up here and it's working, um, that the show will look better going forward. Dabs dog? Very good. Uh, yes, that next episode will look a whole lot better and work a whole lot better. Um, uh, definite apologies for all of the complications. Definitely unfortunate, um, but it was still a good episode, and we will we will get it back up on YouTube, uh, the Pot TV YouTube page. We will put the replay up on there, um, and it does look like. Hmm. What's the matter? I was just gonna say, why don't you tell them uh, who's coming up next week? Oh yeah, sure. That, that's a great idea. I was gonna go back and look and see if there's anything else that made sense that I want to talk about. The new on the couch logo, Remo's video. You guys can watch that on his own page. Um, oh, we got a new intro for favorite four questions, but you'll have to wait and see those again. Commercials, plugs. What else is there that mattered? Saltwater Cowboy, that was cool. Support our man Tim, he could use it. We showed you the GoFundMe page already. Did you know? Eh, fuck it. They didn't know. You can wait, you can watch in the replay. That's a new segment called Did You Know, as well as Show Love. What are those? You'll find out. Oh, but there is uh, some cool, uh, yeah, can you, can you put up the picture from the black octopus glass ones? The ones from your computer? The ones that I had on my computer that I put up? Yeah, totally. Sure. Yeah, those are the ones I want you to put up. Yeah. Get those on the computer. Andrew, what are you waiting for? So our homeboy black octopus, our homeboy black octopus, he, he decided, hey, I want to help out our boy Tim McBride. So he made this black octopus orange and yellow octopus, which is obviously the colors of the book of the Saltwater Cowboy book that, um, yeah, you're not on the shot right now. Um, thank you. And it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, he made this piece that in different light looks different colors. Uh, and it also works as a carb cap, but it's a nice size pendy. And um, it's also Illuminati, if you will. So he'll be here next week to, um, take that all off is good. Uh, he'll be here next week to go ahead and tell us more about it. Uh, he'll also bring it with him. And the idea of it is to be able to try and raise more funds for, um, for Tim's Irma City Relief Fund project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, 
auction that off during the show somehow. Ooh, we're going to have to pre-qualify some people or figure something out to do that, but that's kind of a cool thing. So um, we're going to get you guys a chance to be able to support our buddy Tim and a chance to go ahead and get this cool pendy. But not giving it away, <laughs> you're going to have to pay for it and we'll see how much money we can get you to pay for it and we're going to be like, no bullshit bets and shit like that. And, if I'm only going to take votes from people who I, I'm only going to take um, uh, uh, bids from people who I, uh, who I recognize and we know, so we're going to have some information on that. So um, that'll be cool. Stay tuned for more on that. That was kind of cool. Uh, do, 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 do. News, we talked about, what did we talk about in the news? Uh, in the news, we talked about the fires in California that are just awful and devastating so much of the uh, Admiral Triangle area, uh, including friends of ours, and so, like Subcool. Um, we also talked about a dispensary, first cannabis dispensary opening in Texas in December. Protesters having a cannabis tea party outside the UK Parliament. Um, how setting the edge of 19 in some provinces is not practical for cannabis and how more than 10,000 submissions were received in the first 24 hours and more than 20,000 people have signed up or have offered feedback in the British Columbia Cannabis Survey. So lots went on in the news as of late and um, gave you some updates. So we're at the Prairie Municipal Harvest Cup, articles from the Candlelance. And next week, next week on the show that Andrew wanted me to talk about is uh, Amanda Siebert from YVR Cannabis, uh, aka the cannabis editor for the Georgia Strait. She will be here next week. Really looking forward to that. It's like a weekly newspaper here in Vancouver. it has been around for 40 years or something like that. Uh, also, we're going to sample products from Grassroots Medicinal. Shouts to uh, the Grassroots Medicinal Dispensary up in Squamish, British Columbia. Beautiful place. Um, really like it up there. Really nice shop. And um, also we tried to give big thanks to the guys at Cannabis Life Network. I'm not sure if Andrew ever eventually found that graphic. Yeah, he did eventually find it. So then, if he can find it again, because he only had to use it like once. Nope, well that's the Studio 710 one, it's close. I think there's one with a CLN one in there somewhere as well too. But anyway, uh, shouts to CLN and Andrew for helping me get through this. And we will make it better for next episode and we will get the replay back up on YouTube. I'm pretty gutted that all we did this shit and it didn't fucking work. But, <clears throat> whatever. It's always next episode, right? Uh, we gave it a hell of an effort. You don't know the scramble we fucking did to try and make this shit work. Uh, there it is. Thanks very much to CLN for making it happen. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Isabel S., Wild Dragon, Professor Weed, Med THC Ontario, Kenny H., uh, Bree S., Detonator, Teresa Marshall, uh, 420 Wild Dragon, uh, Brooke Parsons, and let me see who else can I see who I haven't already told it out here. Hold it out here. Megatero. <laughs> um, more people in the chat. Mark, what's going on? Yeah, I was tripping pretty hard at one point. Um, what, what are you going to do though at this point? I got to walk Parker pretty soon though. But I appreciate everybody who's in the chat and everybody who stays in the chat. I appreciate everybody who's still coming back and hanging on in, uh, in the Facebook world. I've also discovered that the graphics don't work very well in that spot on Facebook because Facebook has the little live red logo in the top corner. Anyway, all these things, the issue is not only am I, we got the new studio, which is great, and it's awesome to have the old space to be able to do it, and thanks again to all the folks for making that happen. We're also using a new broadcast uh, computer as well, too, and instead of me doing all the production of it, Andrew's doing the production of it, and he was run spun sideways for the most part of two hours, and I kept him overtime here, so I'm going to let him go, and I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, we will see the replay up by tomorrow, at the latest, I hope. Uh, I really hope that, uh, yes, and Ding Dong there needs to go outside. So we will make sure that we, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting an after show either. I wasn't really w w trying to do it. Uh, really, it was trying to actually do the show, do the show. Fuck a duck. I'm fucking pissed. Fuck.
But we'll get the replay up. And we'll be back here next week for episode 106. And, well, it is what it is, right? So stay, watch for the replay and updated links as soon as I can get them up. In the meantime, Andrew, Sweet. hit the music.